Peace, peace, y'all. I was reading the Bible before I got cut off. So I want to go back to it real quickly. Uh, I don't got that much time because it's the end of my session. So I was reading in, in the News World Translation, and I um, was talking about um, there were gods and lords on the planet. If you read it, you can see it. Okay, so I hope you watched the third video. So now I'm going to go to Genesis chapter 6. I mean, not Genesis chapter 6, Genesis chapter 2. I'm, I'm Chocolate Almond Ross, excuse me. I'm just trying to get this in here because I ain't got that much time. Uh, this is part 3, because I was going to make only 3 parts. Part 3, but part 2, or part 3. Let's read Genesis chapter 2, verses 6. Okay? You see lines and stuff like that is obviously means I've been studying and going over my work. Okay, you see these bookmarks is for a reason why. But let's get into it. Genesis chapter 2, verse 6. And before I go into Genesis 2, verse 6, go over it quickly. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 was God created man and woman in his image. But then he also stated in the Bible, it clearly tells you it's in, in um Verse 27, and God proceeded to create the man in his image, in God's image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Further, he blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful of the fruits, the seeds, um, be fruitful to the vegetarians, which is vegetables, and so on and so forth. Basically, they got to plant their seeds, and they got to do things, and plant, and plant these things, and they'll be able to have food all over. Now... Genesis chapter 2, verses 6. But a mist would go up from the earth and it watered the entire surface of the ground. And Jehovah God proceeded to form the man out of dust from the ground and blow into the nostrils the breath of life. And the man came to be a living soul. Further, Jehovah God planted a garden of Eden. Now here, check this out. On chapter 2, verses 6, it says, clearly describes Jehovah God. But why didn't it say Jehovah God in chapter 1? And it says, God went on to say, let us make man in our image according to the likenesses on 26 scripture. But why specifically it states, specifically it says Jehovah God made man blew into his nostrils in a living soul. Why is this? Let's go to King James Version and read the same thing. Now what this got to do with modern slavery and all the things, because it has a lot to do with it. It has a lot to do with it. Because we are misinformed, and a lot of things is not being told, because they don't think the public can understand. All right, I'm in Genesis chapter 1, King James Version. Let's see if it says the same thing. Chapter 1, verses 26. Let's, I'll read. And God said, let us make man in our image, after like our likeness. Our likeness. Our. That's mean is more than one. And let them have dominion over the fish and the seas and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the earth. And over every creeping things that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his image. In the image of of God created he him male and female created he them and God blessed them and God said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl air and over the living things that move upon the earth and God said behold I have given you Every herbs bearing seeds. Now, God, 
Let's go to Genesis chapter 2, verses 6. But there were went upon a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God verse 7 the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils and breathed of life and man became the living soul and the Lord God planted the garden of eastward in the Eden and there he put in the man who he, he had formed, Lord God. But here in this Bible, it says Jehovah God. But here in this Bible says Lord God. But they both states God, no name, just the title. In Genesis chapter 1, verses 26, God created man and woman in his image and sub tell them to subdue them, to multiply. But then when it came to the one person, the individual, it said, Lord God. But in the Bible of, of the New World Translation, it says Jehovah. So they took the word Lord and put it in this content here from the King James Version. It says, Lord God. But the Jehovah's Witnesses put Jehovah in front of, uh, took out Lord and put Jehovah in it. Now this is very interesting. While we have God, gods, then on chapter 2 in Genesis verses 6 and 7 and 8, it tells you Lord God. Why do we need two different descriptions? You got a Lord God and God. The evidence is here. The question is, do you want to know? Now, the reason why I did this is to show you everything you think you know is not so. Chocolate almond rock. I had to put finish off part three, so I apologize. We got disconnected. So, brothers and sisters, today, class very very deep and I know a lot of things you ain't gonna like because you don't understand it but you gotta understand the way the world works when it comes to Africa and its resources because it's the land of the milk and honey but how is China Britain America Russia and all these people that's there Getting the resources out of Africa. You just can't walk up in there. But let's remember this. Africa was invaded long time ago by the Greeks. Obviously, they wanted resources. The evidence is there. There was a such thing as no America. There was a such thing as Great Britain. It was a such thing as Russia. It was a such thing as China. At the point in time. But the Greeks invaded Africa. And they came in the area where it was Kemet, which you call Egypt. And obviously, they got resources. But like I said, and I'll say it again. Don't be misled. Please do your research. I'm Chocolate Almond Rock. Peace.